Hello and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator the Motivator, and this is episode 59, The White Knight. Guys, welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast, the podcast where we discuss uh, growing closer to the Lord using the three pillars of fitness, spiritual, mental, and physical fitness. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, if you're a new uh, returning listener, appreciate you coming back. I know last week I was uh, kind of took the week off, had a lot going on for work. I uh, want to go ahead and jump on here and uh, try this live thing out again and see what we can do to um, kind of fine-tune this a little bit and go from there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please drop a comment. Let me know you're here. Let me know what's going on. Um, if you were watching on Rumble or anything like that, uh, definitely leave a comment there as well once this video uploads uh, to Rumble. Uh, when this drops on Apple or Spotify, whenever you guys tune into this on all the other platforms, please give us a rating or a review. I'd very much appreciate it uh, to help us get some more uh, more traction there, uh, there on the interwebs. So all that being said, we're going to talk about the White Knight tonight. Who is the White Knight? What is he? What does he mean? What's going on with that guy? And is he really that important? We'll, we'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to say a quick word of prayer as always, and then we're going to dive right in. All right, let's get started. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the many blessings that you give us each and every day. Lord, thank you for the suffering we endure in life. Thank you for the strife. Thank you for the angst. Thank you for all the things that put chinks in our armor, Lord, that we can mend it, make it better, but still keep that scar so we know, you know where we came from in this battle. Lord, I ask that you be with us tonight. Give me the words to say. Give anybody tuning in the eyes to see, ears to hear, and heart to receive anything that will grow them closer to you, Lord. Because that's what it's all about. Lord, I ask all this in your most heavenly name. Amen. Man, we've got a little change of scenery tonight. It's a beautiful evening here in North Carolina. We're going to talk about the White Knight and, and who this guy is. A lot of, a lot of you know fairy tales, Disney movies, whatever you want to get into. There's always that Prince Charming, that knight in shining armor, the white knight that comes in, he saves the day, right? Well, I heard a very awesome quote a long time ago about the white knight and why he might not be the guy you think he should be, right? And the quote goes something like this. A white knight is a man who's never had his medal tested. I heard that quote it's been years ago now, and it really stuck with me because I was always a pretty good kid, I think. Um, but you've got to go through stuff. The white knight on the white horse coming in to save the day at the last minute. Somebody's probably already come in and done the, done the dirty work, right? Um, I'm going to actually see if I can get this chat to pop up. I don't know how it works out, if it'll pop up if anybody's on here or not. I don't know who's watching, but if you say something, I don't know if you're going to say anything. I don't know if I can see the, the what you call it. This the whole live thing is kind of new to me, but it's kind of cool to see how it works out. I'm going to try to mess around with it and see if I can uh, keep you on here. Anyways, White Knight, again, never had his medal tested. A lot of times these guys come in right at the end of the story, save the day, have no character development. They just happen to be in the right place at the right time with the fancy armor, right? But then there's always that one knight, that one hero that's battle hardened. He's grizzled. He's he's tested. He's got scars. He's been through some stuff. He might be somebody mentoring the White Knight, preparing him for something. That's the guy you want to be. Because that White Knight's green. That white guy. When we, we you might start that way. You might start out as kind of green, but you gotta have a mentor. You gotta have somebody who's been through it. You gotta have somebody you can emulate when stuff goes south, when things get tough. That is the guy you want to be. Because that white knight, he doesn't have the scars. Scars. He doesn't have scars on his armor because he's never been through anything. He doesn't have scars on his body because he's never been through anything. In this life, you're going to go through stuff and you need to know how to endure these things. We read all these books about heroes. We read all these books about these legends, these myths, these heroic people in, in history. You need to pay attention to that because they've gone through some real adversity. Whereas us, in our regular lives, at least here in America, don't really go through a lot of hardship, believe it or not. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. 
but it's a lot worse other places. It's been a lot worse throughout history. We haven't been through as much as we like to hype it up that we have been. But there's a lot of people that have been through a lot of stuff. And those are the people you need to pay attention to. Because how did they get through it when times got tough? Or you're going through something mental. You've got, a, got problems with your family. You've had issues in the past. There's been somebody guaranteed who's been through that stuff. Been there, done that, got the jacket. And they can help you get through whatever it is you're going through. If you're going through something physically, you physically need to endure something. Whether boot camp, whether you're in infantry school, whether you're in a, on a deployment, you're on a patrol, you are in the gym trying to get stronger and, and better. There, you're always going to have that first time. And that's when you are that white knight. Right? But very quickly, you need to start getting scars. You need to start putting chinks in your armor. Because it's going to start, you're going to get attacked. Physically, spiritually, mentally, this stuff's going to come at you from all angles, up, up, down, left, right. Okay? You need to know how to respond. You need to know how to uh, endure. I'm trying to see. Hold on a minute. I know, a little, little bit of silence. I apologize for those listening on audio later on. I'm still trying to figure out this chat thing. I don't know who's, who's watching, uh, but hello. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll check the comments later, I guess, because I can't see them right now. I don't know why. I'll figure it out one of these days. I'll, I'll watch another YouTube video and figure this all out. Back into it, though. The White Knight, you will be that person at, at some point or another. Um, there are some virtues of the White Knight, though, that you can you can take to heart. And you can use that when you become that kind of hardened person. Usually, the White Knight is depicted as virtuous. Right, has morals, has integrity. That's things that you, you need. Even if you get a few chinks in your armor, even if you do have a few scars, you keep your integrity, you keep your morals, you keep your foundation, you keep your cause. What was the saying? There's no cause so small if there's one, but one fool left to fight for it, right? Whatever your cause is, whatever you're championing, whatever your banner is that you're carrying behind you, you stay true to your cause. You want to be physically stronger. You need to have scars. You need to have calluses on your hands as a, as a man. Ladies, I don't know. That, that's, I, I can't speak to that. But ladies go through things too, right? You guys go through wildly different, you know, um, wildly different struggles than men do. And that's just the nature of, of the world we live in, all right? But I'm speaking mostly to the guys. Don't be so naive that the world's always going to be sunshine and rainbows, right? But also know that you can be that light in the world, even if ever, all the odds are stacked against you. You take a couple arrows, you take a couple axe, axes to your, to your armor, you'll get the chinks in it. But we talk about it all the time, your spiritual armor is going to get attacked. The armor of God you, get, you have is going to get attacked. But you've got, just got to mend it. You've got to maintain it. Once you get through that battle, because you've got all the tools, all the training, you've got a mentor, you've got somebody to your right, to your left, fighting this battle with you. Once you get through that, you've got to mend that armor. You've got to polish it up. You've got to, you might have to sew it back. You might have to go get it repaired somewhere or repair it yourself. That's going to, when you repair a piece of armor, you know, back in the day, if you had to repair it and you couldn't afford a new set, it's going to have a little bit of a, of a scar on it. It's going to have a chink. But it's still going to be strong because you've repaired it. It's my belief that one day we're going to meet Jesus. And he's going to ask us, where are your scars? He wants us to go to battle for him. He wants us to champion him. He wants us to preach him he wants us to bring people to him the way the truth the life and sometimes when we do that when we are warriors for christ we are going to be attacked we're going to have scars we're going to get hurt ourselves but not to, nothing that he can't mend and heal us from but that's what battle is it's endurance it's putting your will against somebody else's and again, I'm not saying we go beat people in the heads with Bibles, but sometimes you got to get in the spirit realm and you got to go on the offensive. 
And that's the gospel truth. Test your metal. Moses in Mortal Kombat a long time ago. Test your might, right? Test yourself. Don't be afraid to talk about what's important to you. Don't be afraid to push yourself to the limit physically. Don't be afraid to get out there and get in a mental or intellectual debate with somebody because you have been reading, you have been studying, you have the facts. You might have somebody that disagrees with you. But that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you hate each other. We need more civil discourse. Don't be afraid to talk about your faith. Don't be afraid to wear your faith everywhere you go and profess the name of Jesus Christ, the most powerful name on earth, our Lord and Savior, creator of the universe. Do not be afraid to do that. He says it 365 times, don't be afraid. Go into battle. Walk into the furnace if you're being persecuted because there will be one more with you that wasn't there before. Don't be afraid to get your metal checked, to get it tested, to get some scars, to get dirty. That, ladies and gents, that, that's the key. That's what the white knight is. It's the beginning stages. The white knight should transform. He should uh, metamorph, go through metamorphosis into a stronger, better version of himself. Still carrying the same virtues, still having the same integrity, still championing that cause, but with a little experience, with a little scars, something that you can pass on to somebody else. Because maybe you got that scar because your tactic was off just a little bit, but you learned from it. We know in this life that we don't learn a lot from success. You know, okay, this is what kind of got me there, but what got you to success ultimately was a lot of failure that happened prior to. Does that make sense? You learn a lot from the failure. So some of these scars may represent failure. But that tells you, okay, I'm not going to do that again because that almost got me killed or that got me hurt really bad. Or that got me hurt just a little bit. I can endure that a little bit more. I'm walking through a briar patch. It's not so bad. I'm walking through a furnace. It's going to take a lot more faith. You get what I'm saying? But with the armor you've got, the armor you possess, the armor that is given to you, put it on and go to battle. Because that is what we are called to do. That is what the Lord commissioned us to do. Is to go out and fight for our faith. To be the best that we can be for Him. Because He loves us and we love Him. It's that simple, ladies and gents. It's that simple. So, it's my little two cents on the white knight. A little, little different take, maybe, maybe not. Um, I think that again, there are some good, there are some good and bad things you can do as a, that, 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 you know, quite quote white knight. You want to be, be a good person to try to help people as much as possible, but sometimes you got to have a little bit more of an edge because you've been through some, some stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Um, I'm going to try to get another episode in, uh, here coming up soon. So we'll have it ready for next week. Got a busy week next week. Uh, but I'll go ahead and get that in the queue. Um, if I can talk my wife into it, I'm going to try to get her on here at some point. She's going to be my next guest. That's pretty much in stone. It's going to happen. Um, I just got to get her out here. When we have some time, just the two of us, uh, when the kids aren't around, we'll, uh, we'll get out here in, in our beautiful backyard and, and have a little conversation with you guys. So that's coming, to, uh, coming up soon. Um, but yeah, this is the Three Pillars Podcast, guys. I hope that uh, was edifying to you all. I hope that uh, you learned a little something, something I hope you can challenge yourself this week to be a better version of yourself than you ever thought possible. Uh, and I, and I pray that for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to end this episode with a quick word of prayer, send you guys off to a phenomenal weekend and we'll go on from there. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful life you've given us. Thank you for the, again, for the struggles. Thank you for giving us the armor and the faith to endure the struggles that one day we have to go through those things. We'll, we'll bring other people with us because we know the way, Lord. We know the way because you are the way. You are the lamp that guides our feet in the darkness. And if we follow you and have a train of people just holding our hands behind us, we can all get through this, Lord. And if we can have everybody having that light on their path, we illuminate the entire darkness because we're all standing shoulder to shoulder and marching forward in, into you, Lord. 
Lord, I ask that you bless anybody tuning in tonight. Bless, bless them with abundance eternal. Lord, I ask that you continue to give us strength, give us the faith to endure each and every day. In your heavenly name, amen. Guys, again, I appreciate you tuning in. This is the Three Pillars Podcast. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or Rumble, please give us a, a like, subscribe. Let us know how you're doing in the comments. If you've got something you want to talk about, uh, definitely drop it in the comments. We'll talk about it later on. If you're listening on Apple or Spotify, Anchor, uh, Amazon, anything like that, let us know you're there too. There's a couple interactive things you can do there. Leave us a rating or a review. I would very much appreciate it. And please share this, this with the world. Uh, let's get it out there and see, uh, see what we can do. All right to just make this podcast as, as big as we can. Appreciate you guys. Love you all. Tobinator, out.